Guys, that's a that's the new thousand series Challenger. That thing is massive. Um, these front tires are up to my shoulder, and uh, these back tires are uh, 18.4, 18 50s. Them are quite a bit taller than I am. That is a massive, massive tractor. Um, it's just an impressive beast. Holy crap. Looks like you got a three-point PTO stop and uh, some hydraulic functions on each fender. I will agree. I've seen other people complain that this three-point hitch, this is higher than my head, or the same height as the top of my head. So you're six and a half feet up here to give an idea of how massive this thing is. There's just a massive tractor. Um, I do agree that uh, up in here would be a pain. Uh, I guess if you were a 5'8 guy, this wouldn't be bad because you'd literally sneak under this three-point hitch to hook your hoses up. But I can see if, if you got a hitch here, I mean, look at the mass. This is, what is a, <laughs> there is a lot of iron on this thing. Um, look at you, you got glad hands for air brakes. Um, that is an impressive, impressive beast. We will get a closer look at this thing when we are at the Farm Progress Show. Um, that is slick. I'm in St. Cloud. I'm driving by, um, heading into St. Cloud on my way home, and here's that, that beast that you've been seeing. Um, front three-point hitch. That is pretty cool. You can sneak in there. Sneak in there for uh, that front suspension. God, that is just them U joints. They, that's from an over the road truck. That is not a normal mechanical front U joint. I mean, this tie rod compared to my hand. That, that, <laughs> that is just massive, massive cast iron. Um, no run, no wonder the, they say that this thing at 500 horse will walk away from a John Deere articulate tractor at 500 horse. Um, you are getting the power to the ground without a doubt. Nobody does hay better than Heston. And, uh, I guess I would have never, ever believed that I would have seen a small square baler and a couple pull type conditioners at a Ziegler Cat in St. Cloud. But they must move them if they've got them on hand. They're kind of a been looking at these um, compared to a John Deere right now. They got a lot of features and benefits, but if both machines were equal, the price on these things, they're giving them away right now uh, for a year end closeout. It is uh, tremendously less expensive than a deer. And the little, the little baler, that thing is cute. I, I, I want it. I want it, I want it, I want it. I want them both. I want them both. Maybe in five years I can come back and buy them both, but that's a good looking little baler. I like that, that is sharp. The old Heston inline design, got a blower on the nodders. How slick is that? This, uh, I would imagine you got twine boxes on both sides to hold a lot of twine. Yeah, that is a got a hitch down there so you can pull your wagons. Yeah, that is a it's a good looking little baler. Um, looking online, you can't find a person to say anything bad about these balers. Yeah, that's sharp. That is sharp looking. I need to. Uh, I need to pay bills off so I can get these things to help move me into more hay production. Ha! To dream. It's fun to dream, guys. I haven't came to a dealer and just walked around and daydreamed at new equipment for a long time. And so it's kind of fun just to come here and daydream. <clears throat> Thank you for tolerating me. Um, but yeah. So anyhow, that's my tire kicking for the day. Um, 
I missed my payloaders. It was a nine, that's an M series, a 938M. Uh, the last one I rode was a 938K, and that was a stunningly gorgeous machine. Stunningly gorgeous. I had traction control in there. I could I could peel black mounds of dirt. I could peel off that sod, and that sod would would look like that when I got done because you had such a fine control of the over the bucket and the power going to the wheels. It uh, yeah, 938K right there. That's that's what we used to drive, and I had a 966G of uh, a 982. A 982, um, 982 is where you dump an old tandem axle dump truck or even a quad axle dump truck, a pile of rubble right here, and in one scoop, you can push that pile of rubble away. Um, that is an absolute monster of a payloader. That thing is gorgeous. Ah, oh, I wonder if my cat key in the car would fit, in the pickup would fit. I wonder if anybody noticed that I start driving it around. Ha! But it, uh, that bucket's almost as tall as I am. I can almost stand up inside it. <clears throat> it's, uh, right, right here is just, just under my eye level. And so, yeah, that thing is gorgeous. Imagine feeding cows with that. Feed cows with that, you need a heck of a lot more bucket. Um, I don't know what you'd have. <sighs> Would you have a 10 to 12 ton lift capacity at least? Um, easy. My 966G would get light on the rear end when I got to about 18,000 pounds in the forks. Uh, this thing is massive. So, I, yeah, you, you're, you're getting close. You'd have to look in the books, but I bet you could easily put 15 ton on um, in a big light duty bucket feed the 300 400 cows in one scoop so yeah someday someday that big challenger would be mine um, well time to get back on the road guys now I have some porn on my phone so when I get home I can tell Karen I need some privacy and uh, go from there